Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, SQQQ once again and that's a wonderful profit for me, so two and a half K. Listen, this is the strategy that I've been using since before Christmas, okay? And then I introduced it to my trading community. I'm looking at the previous day's highs and lows, okay? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for highs and lows. I then wait for the market to open and I'm looking for a pullback or a spike Okay, and then I'm looking to capitalize on a reversal. Now, the reversal and the entry is extremely important, okay, because what I'm using is I'm using minor rejections and major rejections to the support level or the resistance level, depending on which way the stock is going. Okay, so that's what determines my entry. Then we go on to price action and momentum. That then determines when I actually liquidate the position. So these are the things, these are the fundamentals of what my strategy is beneath the surface. Okay, now obviously it takes time to perfect this strategy. Of course it does. It takes time to understand minor rejections. It takes time to understand major rejections price action, momentum, all of these things. Now you can be taught it, but it takes time to put it into practice itself, and of course it does. But listen, it's a truly wonderful strategy, and it's netted me some fantastic results. I mean, two and a half K, I held this position for, I think it was like just over 45 minutes. So this particular position, because of the high of the previous um, sessions, I waited for it to open, okay? I waited for a, a little spike. I was looking to see where they hit that major, major resistance level and it was rejected a number of times. That's when I took my short position. So I actually held this position for, it was over 45 minutes. Um, so I only managed to record my entry and then towards the end of the, um, of the trade, I just started pressing record again. So it's only just over a two minute, um, video on the actual trade but it was actually for 45 minutes it is a big position two and a half thousand lots i do use a lot of capital but even if you were to use a small amount of capital the potential return on these penny stocks truly is wonderful and that's why i continue to trade them and that is why you continue to trade the same penny stock time and time and time again okay because as i've discussed in the past you continue to trade the same instruments day after day after day. You get to understand how to move, you get to understand the spread. You know, you become one with the instrument as much as it is actually possible. But I would definitely recommend, as I have previously, that you should definitely stick to a handful of instruments. Now, whether that's penny stocks, stocks or futures. As I've said before, I'm still the futures guy. I trade futures every single day. FTSE 100 on the European Open, Dow Jones on the US Open, and sometimes the Dow Jones on the US close as well. Not so much stocks recently, but certainly these penny stocks. But again, you know, we need to do this in terms of, you have to have that kind of level of diversity because the market has kind of changed. You know, for a long, long time, I didn't touch a stock, I didn't touch a penny stock. I purely just traded futures and I didn't touch anything else. But then the market started to change, you know, last year, and I did start to um, introduce some stocks, which is something that the students wanted as well, because there is some students that wanted to trade stocks and not just futures. And then obviously we've introduced penny stocks um, at the start of this year again, again, because the students out there that want to trade penny stocks. So, we have to make sure that we're, we're covering everything for the students. Um, and the Sabora trading community continues to grow on a weekly basis. The team has grown and it's fantastic to see. We're still going strong since November 2019. A number of traders now are full-time traders. I'm trying to get them to do an interview, but listen, there's a lot of people out there that are making money that don't want to come out and say that they're making it because they just want to be in the background. and I. I guess I, I, I do kind of understand that, you know, it's, most people just don't want people to know that they're making money, okay, but it is what it is. Um, 
So I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Make sure that you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you want to message me or follow me on Instagram, it's sambora.00. Remember, the Sambora trading community now has a sponsored jockey, Dylan Johnston. Check him out and you can see him ride on TV, Sky TV, racing TV, etc, etc. Enjoy this week's video. Okay, so that's the market open. So it's like 12 minutes into the open. But I'm actually going to take a short position here. Okay, I'm going to take 2,000, 2,500 lots on a market position. Okay, reason that I took it is quite simple. I've waited for it to open, waited for a spike. So you can see there, 12 minutes into the open. So that date and time is when the position was opened. Okay. So you can see there, it hit a major resistant level. It was rejected. That's why I took my position. Okay, so you can see that again. So I actually edited this video because I actually held this position for over 45 minutes. So I, um, I thought I would actually have to hold it a lot longer. So obviously I've edited the video down. But you can see now, now it's actually starting to find support. And it is going to hit a major support level and it'll be rejected and that'll be my cue to liquidate my position so this strategy it truly is a wonderful strategy so i'm looking for highs and lows in the previous session and that's what it's based on that's the approach and then we're looking at the open we're looking for a pullback we're looking for a spike we're looking at these major resistance support rejections and that determines when I enter my position and it also determines when I exit. Okay, so obviously we've got momentum in there, price action as well, so there's a lot of different things. The overall approach is the highs and lows from previous sessions, but it's a lot more technical when you actually get into it before you actually take your position and when you're actually looking to liquidate as well. So I've been trading this strategy now on penny stocks for number of months now probably since before christmas so i continue to use this strategy and it's truly netted me some wonderful wonderful results and this is why i keep it very very simple i've said before my approach to the market is very much simplified very very much simplified so this truly is a wonderful strategy it really does net some great results and i'm just going to take that two and a half k so there you go guys Two and a half K on a penny stock, SQQQ. And again, you don't have to use a huge amount of capital. Yes, I do trade with a, a big amount of capital, so I do take big lot sizes. But even if you even if you were trading with a thousand dollars, you could still make a bloody good return on these penny stocks. You know, when I first started off with my 2000 and I was trading penny stocks, you can get a bloody good return. A really, really good return. So, especially with these penny stocks, it is a very good way if you only have small capital to um, to be able to make good returns and then you can mix it up with some stocks and futures as well because some of the futures can be quite expensive especially in the US you know there's some students in the US and I know there's a lot of restrictions in the US so in Europe we don't have them restrictions so we're very very lucky but listen it is what it is we've got to continue to evolve which is why I introduced penny stocks and stocks back into my portfolio and the students as well so we've got to continue to evolve the market is a little bit strange at the moment what we're seeing is a lack of volatility and that lack of volatility comes from a lack of volume on the open you know there's a lot of fear out there in the marketplace it's very much a risk off sentiment at the moment it's very much risk off so we're seeing a lack of um, volatility because of the lack of volume but what we are seeing is we're seeing bigger formations or big, bigger patterns but they're forming extremely slow. So you do have to um, you do have to tweak your approach slightly. I mean, my overall strategy still remains the same. The actual approach still remains the same. There's only two things that we've changed. We have to wait a little bit longer and the formations are a little bit bigger. But apart from that, nothing's changed. You know, the strategy hasn't changed. So again, my strategy continues to be a wonderful example of patterns truly do work you know patterns really do work you know and if you stick to them and then if you make sure that you implement a high degree of risk management they truly do work in the long term like they have done for me for such a long time and anyway guys 
gonna go. Got some sun to get. I need to walk in this tan. It's getting there slowly. Very, very slowly, but it's getting there. So, see you guys again very soon for another video.